Well, I will sing forever of your love. Come down with my hands to heaven. Shout your praises loud. I was lost in darkness when you pulled me out. I will sing forever of your love. Come down. Welcome to worshiptutorials.com. My name is Brian. What you just heard was uh, me playing through this new piece of gear from TC Helicon. It is called the Voice Live Play Acoustic. Um, I think this thing is very cool, very useful, and extremely useful for a sort of uh, a singer, songwriter type, uh, acoustic guitar player, vocalist um, that leads worship, which I know many of you are. So in a nutshell, what this thing does is you can plug, um, you can plug a microphone in and an acoustic guitar in. So there are your inputs. And then you can actually treat those two uh, things separately inside of this pedal. Um, and then you can send them out separately as well. So you have a vocal out and an acoustic guitar out. Or you can send a mono out um, or even a stereo out and mix the two. But I think this thing is most powerful if you use it uh, in a way where you, it's almost like you have a vocal effects chain and a guitar effects chain and you send them both out separately. So TC Helicon, uh, sister company with TC Electronic, if you're a guitar player, you've probably heard of TC Electronic. They got in touch with me and wanted to know if I would review some of their products. And I started looking at uh, the different things that they had to offer. And I, I really think that this thing is extremely useful for worship leaders. Um, and I'll talk more about it later when I kind of conclude the video. But what it does is it allows you to send a sort of processed guitar and a processed vocal to your front of house mix so you don't have to rely on uh, maybe a soundboard that has things like reverb and delay built into it. Um, or you don't have to rely on your sound guy to, to sort of EQ and, and tweak your acoustic guitar so that it sounds good. This thing uh, will send the signal out already sort of processed and tweaked more like a final product that you would want to hear um, before your sound guy has to do anything. So if you know anything uh, about effects or mixing, typically um, at the basic level with, with vocals, you want to EQ and compress the vocal and then you want to add some reverb and some delay to it. Same with guitar, typically you wanna add uh, some, some EQ and some compression and uh, probably some reverb to your guitar too, just to make it sound bigger. If you don't have a board that is capable of doing that or, or uh, outboard effects that will do that for you, or if you rely on volunteers um, and maybe the person running your soundboard doesn't know how to do that and do it well, this little guy, uh, can be a huge asset for you. So personally, where I lead worship, uh, I have, we use a board that has all those effects built in, and we have people who are trained in how to set them up. But if I didn't, I would use this thing, hands down, no question about it, this thing is very cool. Um, so let's go through what you can do. So uh, I have, first of all, you can kind of go into the setup menu and set things like your input gain. Here's a mic gain on the side. So whatever microphone you plug into it, you wanna make sure that the signal's good, um, that it's getting a strong signal, so you can turn that up or down. And I've kind of done that with both my guitar and uh, my voice. So I have it all kind of set up right. And uh, TC Helicon ships like a quick start guide that's actually very useful. All right, so I just wanna run through these effects with you sort of show you what you get uh, with this thing. So we're just gonna start with the vocal effects. So to, to access the effects, you just hit this vocal effects button. You can see there are seven blocks of effects that you can get. You can have any of them on at the same time, totally turned off, or you can set them to this hit button uh, and just turn them on like a stomp box effect. Uh, so the first thing you've got is harmony. You can see if you hit here the style, you can go through all kinds of different harmonies, just high, higher, low, lower. Um, I've kind of selected a few that I like, but uh, we're gonna demonstrate those in just a second. Uh, these are not specific like semitones. They do have uh, octave up and down, which would be plus 12, minus 12. They do have a plus seven, a minus five, and then combinations of those. Um, but for this uh, effect, 
or for this preset, I just went with the high and low. Uh, and then you can set the level. Um, you can set what key it's in. You can also tell it to go auto. Uh, and then it will detect the key from your guitar playing, which is pretty cool. Uh, I found, though, when I tested it, that it seemed to be more accurate if you told it what key you were in. Um, and then here I have it set to the hit button, so it only comes on if this is on. The next thing is a doubler. Uh, pretty simple. You can have different styles, uh, and I have that set to the hit control as well. It just makes your voice sound bigger. Um, then I have a delay, so I have it set turned on all the time. I have it set to quarter note. You can change that to eighth, triplet, dotted eighth, that kind of thing. And so TC Helicon has sort of uh, borrowed these effects from TC Electronics since they're their sister companies. Um, and so you're getting really great sounding delays with this. Uh, the next thing that I've got here that you can go, so this is the third effect type. Then you've got reverb. Again, you've got different uh, types of reverbs. Um, I just set mine up with, oh, I went past it. Uh, the studio room one, I or studio room. Uh, and I thought that sounded really good. Um, again, TC Electronic uh, Reverbs, TC Helicon Reverbs, they sound great. Um, that's on all the time. Then I've got uh, an auto-tune. I don't have it turned on. I went through uh, some of these. This pop one is pretty strong. Uh, so if you want that effect, you can get it. Um, the country gliss kind of glides in and out of, uh, of tones. Um, I, you know, personally, I feel like this natural actually felt pretty good to me, like it worked pretty well. Personally though, I would just recommend you uh, sing in key, <laughs> and that just comes with practice. But uh, auto-tune is nice to have, uh, and I found that it works moderately well. But I have it turned off in this preset. Um, the next uh, type is this transducer, uh, so you can get some radio, overdrive uh, type effects, megaphone. Um, they're kind of specialty effects. They're there if you want them. Same with the uh, micro mod effects. You can get choruses. Uh, one one thing that I thought was kind of fun, if you uh, if you watch the old Battlestar Galactica, I kind of got into the remake of that, by the way. But uh, the Cylon sound, you can sound like a Cylon from Battlestar Galactica. Anyway, pretty pretty fun. Um, but uh, let's go back. I'll show you the guitar effects that you can have. Um, the, now, these are either always on or always off. And uh, you can have, at least that's how I found them to be. So you can have a reverb from the TC Electronic Hall of Fame reverb pedal. Uh, different types of reverbs. Um, I like the plate reverb, personally, on my guitar. Uh, you can have the uh, <clears throat> a chorus effect. So this is from the Corona chorus pedal. I don't have it on in this uh, in this setting, but if you'd like to go 80s hairband uh, ballad acoustic guitar sound, uh, sure, hit that chorus. <laughs> I'm sure it's useful for many other things than that, but it just make, makes me think of it. Um, now this body res plugin is cool. I, here are the settings that I have. I sort of customized it uh, to my guitar and uh, I think that it really sounds good. I'll show you, I'll turn it on and off later so you can see the difference, but this is a great uh, plug-in. It's actually available in a, a pedal form of its own as well, and uh, I like it. Um, after that, there's a feedback notch uh, that you can set up if you need it. So uh, you can also see that you can store as many presets in here as you want. I've stored a few just for this demo, and um, you can cycle through them like this, and you just hit it, and they're on. One thing that is kind of nice when you turn this button on and off is that you can hold it, and you get a tuner, but it also turns your vocal effects off, so you can uh, talk without having reverb and delay going. And then you just hit it again to get out of it. All right, so let's hear this thing in action. Uh, I've got this Harmony Big setting on. I'm going to play. I'll play the same thing that I played from the intro for you again, just so you can hear it. And uh, for these demos, you can see I'm using a, a Shure SM7B microphone. It's kind of like a, uh, 
Maybe you can think of it as a tweaked out uh, SM57, but a 58 will give you sort of a similar, it's a dynamic vocal microphone like you would use in a live environment. So let's turn these harmonies on, and uh, here we go. Well, I will sing forever of your love. Come down with my hands to heaven. Shout your praises loud. I was lost in darkness when you pulled me out. I will sing forever of your love. Come down. So I kind of held that note out um, so you could hear it, but that was a pretty cool harmony effect, in my opinion, sounded really, really pretty convincing. Let me do that. You know what I should have done is played it some stuff for you uh, without it on. So here we go. Well, I once was blind and I could not see Chains of sin had shackled me But God in heaven he earned my plea, and Jesus, Jesus rescued me. Harmonies. And I will sing forever of your love. Come down with my hands to heaven. Shout your praises loud. I was lost in darkness when you pulled me out. I sing forever of your love. Come down. So there you go. Uh, I thought it tracked pretty well. Um, sounded like I had two other people singing with me. So uh, the next effect that I have for you today is this harmony subtle. So on this one, I've got the level, I've got the harmony style set to high instead of high and low, which what the last one was. So this is kind of a more subtle harmony. I have the, uh, the mix set at minus 18, the level. The other one was at minus 12, just so you could hear a little bit more what it sounded like. Again, I've got it set for the key of A. Um, I tell you what, just for the sake of doing this, I'm gonna turn this to auto. I wanna play a song in the key of A, but uh, we're turning it to auto. Everything else on this preset is pretty much the same as far as the, uh, the reverb and delay settings and the guitar settings, but uh, I'm gonna show you sort of um, maybe a more subtle use in the harmony that it'll come in in the chorus and uh, it'll sound just a little bigger. Well, I many stories of what they think you're like, but I heard the gentle whisper of love in the dead of night, and you tell me that you're pleasing that I never Good father, it's who you are, it's who you are, it's who you are, and I'm loved by you. It's who I am, it's who I am, it's who I am. It seemed to track pretty well. Uh, we again, we had it set in auto mode, so it was actually getting the key from my guitar. I think it tracked better when I told it what key I was in. So I think what I would do, this thing has a way you can set it so that you can use the foot switches to change the key. I think you hold down a foot switch. Um, I remember reading that in the manual, and then you can cycle through the keys. Probably the easiest way is if you know your set list, if you know you're gonna use harmonies, I would just uh, copy your presets in the order of your set list and just name them the name of the song so that they're in the right key. That would be the way I would use it personally. Okay, my next preset, I just wanna show you the, uh, the vocal effects, um, wet and dry. So basically, we've got uh, the reverb and the delay. Just to show you how much of a difference reverb and delay makes, if the, uh, the, the hit switch is on, the reverb and the delay are on. If it's off, the vocals are dry, uh, meaning no reverb no delay. And it's the same reverb and delay settings. So let's start with the reverb and the delay on. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. 
Now we'll turn it off. And I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. And I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. So, in my opinion, uh, that wet dry sound, the uh, the reverb and the delay that you can send to the front of the house is just extremely useful, especially if you don't already have that. Um, and honestly, a decent reverb and delay unit that you, uh, if you don't have it on your board, a decent reverb and delay unit that you would use to put on your voice is going to cost more than this thing does if you buy them both. And it's going to be much more difficult to use. Uh, you're not going to be the one in control of it. So this is just really, really useful in my opinion. Okay, the last thing that I want to do is go into the guitar settings and uh, show you how much of a difference that uh, body res thing makes. So you're hearing the guitar with it on. And I'm, now I'm going to turn it off. So you go into guitar effects, it's the third one. We can just go to the amount, turn it to zero. And it sounds like this. Okay, let's turn it back up. As you can see, or hear rather, um, that makes a big, big difference. The guitar just has more life, more body, hence the name Body Riz. Uh, um, it just makes it sound, it makes it sound more like a mic'd uh, guitar. Now this guitar has uh, a pretty nice pickup system in it. It's the LR Bags Anthem uh, system. And I can actually, um, so it's a mic and a piezo blend, but I'm gonna blend it all the way to the piezo, which is typically not a good sounding uh, pickup, and this is what it sounds like with the, the body res off. And on. And then when you blend the mic back in, uh, it just sounds really good. Now you're also hearing some a reverb, a reverb tail in there. So here's the reverb on. You can hear it trail when I did that. I'm gonna turn it off. You can hear it's just a dry, cut. So that reverb uh, gives you a nice sense of space on your guitar. Reverb on acoustic is handy, especially um, if you're like the only, one of the main instrumentalists, it's really nice to have. Uh, so all in all, this thing, it sounds really good. These effects actually are impressive sounding, um, and it's really cool, the package that you get, being able to process your, your acoustic guitar and your mic sound and send it to your front of house. Um, already having a lot of the work done that it needs to have done to have that polished final product. So in conclusion, the TC uh, Helicon Voice Live Play uh, Acoustic is, uh, in my opinion, an extremely useful pedal, especially for you if you play in uh, a, maybe a smaller venue that doesn't have the budget for a board that has all of these effects either built into it or 
either running them as uh, outboard effects. I think that uh, being able to send a vocal to your front of house mix that has delay and reverb already on it and that sound good, uh, that just sit well in a mix is a huge bonus and will make, it is amazing how much of a difference those two things, just those two things on your voice will make. In my opinion, uh, this thing is worth uh, the asking price just for that alone, to be able to send uh, that sort of a polished pro sounding vocal to your board without having to rely on your board or the person running your board. Um, now, it doesn't have a lot of EQ effects built into it, so uh, you will need to do a little bit of that and compression if you wanna do compression. But, uh, but just for that, and the acoustic guitar stuff sounds really good too. I was very impressed by the body res stuff. I use a lot of, uh, of pretty nice plugins when I record these worship tutorials videos. And I didn't use them today because I wanted you to hear what the, uh, the voice live play acoustic sounds like if you would just use it direct. And I was impressed. Um, I would run my guitar into this thing and uh, feel confident that it sounds that it sounds really good. If you're looking for something that is gonna make your voice and your guitar sound instantly better, this thing is it. The harmony part of it is actually uh, sort of icing on the cake for me. So you heard, uh, you heard me use it in a few examples. What I would probably do um, is I would set it, for most things, I would set it pretty subtly so that when you turn it on, and I would almost always hit set it to the, uh, the foot switch so I could turn it on and off. And I would, uh, I would probably kick it in whenever the choruses come in, when you get big parts of the song. And I would use it more as an effect just to make it sound big. Now, if you're doing like a cover of an Eagles song or something like that, um, you can actually set up a harmony preset that would nail particular sounds. It doesn't have the fine tune level control of, um, of something like their, their more flagship voice live processors, but it does give you the basic, just great sounding harmony effects, the high, the low, high and higher. Uh, you do get the plus seven and minus five settings. So if those are specifically what you want, um, you can get those nailed, dialed in with this thing. But all in all, I really recommend it. The good news that I have for you is that we, in the near future, are gonna be giving this thing away to one of you. So stay tuned, I'll put a separate video up about the giveaway contest itself. But uh, if, if this is something you're looking for, enter into that thing and I hope you get it. And I hope um, if you pick one of these up that it, uh, that it really helps enhance your sound as a musician um, in whatever setting that you're in. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.